Sana and Mabuhay! Welcome back to Philly Swiss. In this second Vlogmas episode, I will be showing you the Christmas decor that I got in order to decorate our apartment and I'll be sharing you that in our little house tour. No, we will not be hosting a party this year but we will be celebrating anyway just me, hubby and our little fur baby Snickers. Can you believe it? 2020 is almost over. What a wild ride this year has been. Christmas is my most awaited season holiday and I basically intended that we would spend it this year in the Philippines with my family and how we would basically have a first-hand experience on how our family Christmas traditions are but it was not meant to be. Nevertheless, it does not stop the merry feeling that's in my heart. So because there's a lot of ground to cover, let's get started. So now before we get straight into the house tour, I would like to give you a few tips that I think will be helpful for any holiday decorating that you will want to do, whether your house or your apartment of a certain size, this may help you get organized and prepare for the next holiday season. So let's get started with number one. First do a cleaning spree. Now, it's always nice to start with a clean canvas. It's the same with our face when we do our skincare. It's always nice to have a very, very, very clean surrounding so that you know exactly which space needs to be filled and what can you fill it with. Now that you know what you can actually do with your space, I like to go into Pinterest and look for inspirations or pinspirations and just basically make a mood board so that I know exactly what it is I want to get. So if I wanted to get garlands, I wanted to get a Christmas decor for the tree, something more special and festive and something more basic like the, the colored Christmas balls and different types of decor that can go on shelves for example. All of these come from looking around on Pinterest because you know, it's like a brainstorming platform. So if you have other ideas from other people, you can bring them all together, marry them into one pot, and there you go. That's your guide into building your own list of what you're going to get at the shopping mall or online. As you will see later on, I have decided to decorate only a couple of rooms and maybe some areas of some of the rooms. Now, this is because if I did have guests or if I will have guests, I would basically know where they would visit the most. That would be the living room area. It's more the public or open space in our home. Bedroom is mostly closed off because there's nothing special about it. Um, the bathroom is as jolly as it could be with Christmas themed toilet paper. And, and basically the studio is as Christmassy as it could get. Just some lights, a bit of garlands as you can see here. So it's nothing really that needed decorating in my opinion and the kitchen it's going to be messy anyway with all the cooking that's going to be done so um, most likely I would think that too much decor might be might just get in the way of the cooking so the living area is where everyone just comes together and talks catch up with each other no problem so that's where I focus all of my energy in terms of decorating and the rest basically just followed now, based on the pinspirations that you've collected from Pinterest, you can go back into that board and start listing down all of the elements, all of the items that you want to use in order to decorate your home. So if you have a windowsill, do you want to put garlands over there or do you just want to put some elements like a deer or a reindeer <laughs> or maybe a little elf somewhere. So you look at all of these little things check what exactly it is you want for a theme in your home do you want certain decor that are just like i don't know they appear like silhouettes rather than actual characters so you can look at what type of um, artistic effects they actually have maybe you'll want some elements to have a silhouette type of artistic flair or you want them to look more cartoonish so you'll have to see what kind of theme you want to play around with 
a lot of what I found on Pinterest are already themed accordingly so it was a matter of whether or not I wanted to choose maybe white and silver or golden red you know something like that so you can see that there's always these common patterns you can also go wild and go with your own style what you see is basically what you get at the end of the day um, it's a matter of how you're going to make it look pretty in your eyes so now that you got all of those elements down it's time to go into your drawing board so grab a piece of paper and your pencil I say pencil for a reason, I'd rather you didn't waste too much paper, just use a pencil and start drawing out or mapping out the room or the rooms you want to decorate. And start planning where you want to put your tree, where you want to put the garlands or whatever decor you actually want to use and start placing them, um, well, if your imagination is as wild as it could be, you can place them everywhere and you can just refer to that piece of paper when you start actually placing these decorations after you've bought them. So this is a very helpful guide. I love to use guides, I love to use templates, and this basically is a time saver and it helps you organize yourself according to what you actually really wanted to begin with. When you go to the store, you know already that you have organized what it is you actually needed so you don't have to go overboard and say oh i found something really nice maybe yes you could use that to replace what you initially wanted maybe you didn't even have that item in the store for example so you know there are some flexibility when it comes to planning but you have your structure so just like in any artistic project or creative project that you would like to embark on you would have to define a budget for yourself and I would give out two numbers always one is my minimum and one is the maximum now the reason for this is because you you may not actually get the actual items you really wanted to begin with remember you grab the items or the pictures from Pinterest so you're not gonna get it one for one and maybe if you're checking online you don't really know where these people got their um, their decor so you don't really know the shops that well so maybe some of them are more expensive that's why it looked like that or some of them are really cheap which is a good bargain maybe in, in times so if you get a chance to start defining your budget you should know up to where you can spend and up to where you are willing to spend let's say that so that's basically the the barrier so you can say maybe for example if I decided I wanted to spend 500 francs for a Christmas decoration that includes the Christmas tree it should include the Christmas tree because it's quite expensive in my opinion unless I don't know someone else will be hired to decorate everything for me but nevertheless always stick to a budget that you know very clearly this is how much you can actually allow yourself to spend and still make your space look really festive. Now this step goes hand in hand with the previous step about the budget. Now this helps a lot when it comes to um, defining the final total because you need to start canvassing your sellers. Now I like to use my Excel template where I can actually see okay for this list of items that I want to get to decorate the apartment, how much is it gonna cost from seller one, seller two, seller three, blah, 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 blah. So this just makes it easier for me to eliminate because I would have checked what these sellers have that I actually like according to what element type it is. So if it's a garland, I can go to Negro, I can go to the online shop of Coke, I can go to the online shop of Depot, and all of these things I would see okay. I like this from there, I like this from there, and I like this from there. So you've already eliminated a lot of options just because you already found exactly what you wanted. If that is, exam for example, you're able to get it from the online shop. Now, if you want to go into the store, that's another story. You would have to invest a lot of time just to go from one store to another. So if the shop that you're going to go to actually has an online shop, maybe you'll want to check there first because then you can see how much it actually costs from which store to another. You could also disperse it. Maybe you don't have to buy everything from one shop. You could say, okay, I will buy this, 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 and that from this shop, and then another few items from here and another from there. That can also be, um, you know, the, the flexibility that I was talking about earlier. You can use that to your, to your maximum capacity on how you're going to decorate your apartment or your house, whatever your space you're going to use to decorate. Just make sure that it is something that you will be happy with and that you're not 
hurting yourself thinking oh my god I have just spent so much money just for decorating for one or two important dates of the year you know don't want to have that feeling of regret associated with the holiday so now that you got your list ready and you know exactly where to get what it's time to start getting your hands dirty you're going to the store or you're going to start buying them online I actually went to the store not because I'm in favor of just going to the store I actually prefer to buy online but for this Christmas feeling the the mood the setting it's just so nice to go into the store because they have all of the decor already there the Christmas music is playing granted I don't hear that every day but most likely the staff do and um, yeah it just gives me that merry feeling so if you're going to go to a store and you want to do it my way I actually brought a duffel bag with me so my gym bag comes with me and I stuff all of the decor inside the bag whatever can fit except for the Christmas balls that came in a big tub I had to carry that separately so that's one way to be able to go and shop physically into a store otherwise just go straight into online shopping now give you one fair warning if you're gonna go online shopping you're always going to have to think about um, delivery fee for example or if you're gonna use your credit card you have to think like okay how much more is going to be charged on top just because I went and bought from one store to another so think about that have a little uh, downtime and see if you would be happier to if you would be happier to go to a shop rather than to go online so in my case none of those issues are my actual issues it's just something to think about but I really do just like that feeling when you go to a store if you need help you have assistance and yeah so that's what I did so guys now it's the moment that you've been waiting for it's time for the house slash apartment tour so let's go enjoyed that very 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 quick house tour like I said I only decorated a room or two and a few little areas because I only know that there's only certain things you can focus on without having to really go all out in every single room so now one question for you is what is it about the Christmas season that you like the most 
Is it the food? Is it the decor? Is it the presents? Is it the Christmas movies? The Christmas music? Or maybe if you're living in a cold place like me, is it the temperature or the snow? Do let me know in the comment section down below which one or which ones you actually like about Christmas. Maybe I didn't mention in the choices, you can just add them on there as well. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to hit the like button if you did. And if you want to see more videos like this, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified for future videos. As always, I'll see you next time. Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays!